here is a structure that will be interesting to this discuss. We could see already that it looks like it's a non-keratinized stratified squamous mucosa. We can also see that the majority of it consists of blood vessels, connective tissue, but mostly skeletal muscle fibers running in every which way direction. We could see some blood vessels here. We could see probably a nerve here. We could see a very thick artery here. And uh, we already instantly know this is tongue again for all the right reasons. There's a nerve, there's a nerve, there's a small artery or arteriole. Uh, that looks like a nerve. There's a huge artery cut uh, transversely. Probably the same thing here, cut a little bit obliquely. Skeletal muscle fibers running every which way. And once again, you know they're skeletal muscle because when you look at them, the nuclei are all at the periphery of the fiber and they have little striations as well. And in addition, you know this is really a big nerve over here, don't you? Which is chiefly Schwann cells covering axons, maybe a fibroblast every now and then. You also can know that this uh, particular tongue looks like it has one very smooth uh, squamous mucosa here and it has kind of a bumpy uh, squamous mucosa on the other side. Now because this is at the bottom I don't think you would assume this is at the bottom of the tongue. It's just at the bottom of the field because all of these are papilla and the papilla that look like are hyperkeratinized and come to a nice point are filiform patilla, papilla. Those are the things that scrape the food. And if a lion was to lick you with his uh, filiform papilla, it probably would shred your face, even if he didn't lay a tooth on you yet. In addition, these more fungating or mushroom looking like papilla, which have these little taste buds on the surface, are the uh, actual fungiform papilla. Uh, because filiform papilla, like here and here and here, they do not contain taste buds. But taste buds which contain papilla in proximity to the filiforms are the fungiforms. They look more blunter. And once again, you will see that there will be some glands uh, supporting uh, these structures, but not as many as on the side of your mouth because your mouth is already filled with saliva. Here's some more skeletal muscle bundles cut axially. Here's some skeletal muscle fibers cut longitudinally. Here's some loose connective tissue of the lamina propria. Here are some blood vessels. And actually, for as interesting as the tongue is, uh, at this point, it's a little bit boring because we pretty much know everything. We can see the stratified squamous mucosa developing into filiform papillae, fungiform papillae, the lamina propria, and connective tissue the skeletal muscle fibers running every which way. We saw blood vessels, we saw nerves. Here's a thick artery, here's an artery, here's an artery, here's an artery, here's a thin walled vein. Uh, here's a thick or vein, a thick lumen, they're all thin walls. Uh, here's probably another vein. And here's the part of the tongue that is very smooth and doesn't have many papillae, which is probably the underside or bottom of the tongue. Uh, and I thank you very much.